if that wasn't hint enough, we have to go through Draenor's cavern, which means we have to go talk to Medley. There is a little post office game we could play up there for rupees, but I suppose... Do I want to do that later? I don't want to waste all the rupees you get there, either. I think I'll save it for later. I've put you guys through enough side quest stuff already. So there's no point in it. So, hey, there's Medley. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to! I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see, this place, there used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great flu, he became so angry, and... In his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, playing the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Not so good. Well, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Falu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with Grateful Lou. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her, but I did anyway. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. I don't feel so guilty like that. You're not a mother yet. John, I mean, I'm so sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge is too high for me over there. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there, so... Will you help me? I don't think so, little lady. Sure. Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. But if you'd bothered to pick up the song for the Wind Waker, that wouldn't have been a problem. It's your own fault, though. So now we get to pick her up. No sexual innuendo intended there. Wait for the wind to be blowing that direction. You can see the dust moving around, and presto! Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Rest and meet with the Grateful Lou. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Yeah, sure you will. I may just be an apprentice to the attendant, but I can understand some of the Grateful Lou's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I can give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. You won't be able to get to Dragon Rest Cavern without it. We got an empty bottle! We can hold so many different things with the empty bottle, it's not even funny. We can hold water. We can hold dust. We can hold special kinds of water. We can hold mystical creatures that will revive us. We can hold other kinds of water. Colorful kinds of water. And fireflies, and anything else I forgot. But most of that is a lot more interesting than I made it sound, I promise you. So now that we can finally take some water up to these wilted bomb flowers up here, and I actually call them bomb flowers and not bomb rocks, aren't you proud of me? Sprinkle some on the bomb flower over here. You only need to do this for one. Try to throw the bomb on top of the rock. I can't believe I made it on my first try, that's very lucky. And the spring will slowly fill the lake with water, so we can swim across and follow Medley to Dragon Roost Cavern. Terrific! And just like in Mother 3, if we jump in, it'll heal us like a hot spring. No, it won't, but that would have been really cool if it did. Did I mention how much I love Mother 3? Because I'm almost done with that game, and it's just terrific. If you've never played it, please pick it up play it yourself. If enough people ask, I'll put up a link to the fan translation. But as far as finding a ROM for it, you're on your own. That's the second time I've advertised that game. I'm not intending to do it that way. Let's take these bombs and throw them in. Let's take these bombs and throw them in. There we go. For some reason, this second one always gives me problems. Always, 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 always. Damn it. I always die at some point here. Oh, I actually made it! Terrific. Do I feel like starting Dragon Race Cavern right now? What time am I up to? Only 53 minutes, what the hell, I'm going for it. I don't know if I'll be able to finish the thing, but I, uh, I don't want to start it and not finish it. But I'm really anxious to keep going. Eh. Probably hasn't even been four videos yet. You know what? Let's go in. Move these statues out of our way. 
and welcome to dungeon number one, Dragon Roost Cavern. And totally breaking Zelda sequences, Zelda sequences, we actually have to start in the fire dungeon first. Die! There we go. Boom, boom. Okay, both of those guys are dead. And we have our first mini puzzle to figure out. Which isn't too hard if you've ever played a Zelda game before. Let's take a lit stick. Run over to the unlit torches. And light them with the stick. And presto! Our first dungeon treasure. I wonder what it's going to be. There's a locked door, so it must be a small key. Use it to open locked doors. Over here is a pot. I'll explain what they do once we find a use for it. Head in here. And now we get to see just how beautiful this game really is. A nice overview of the central part of the dungeon. So pretty. That lava is really scary, though. Look at that. It's so bright. And you can see all the little spires coming out. Going all the way up to the third floor. That is a really intimidating spike of lava. But anyway, we'll be heading back through that door when we have a small cave, which we don't have yet little bit of minor platforming here. Climb up the box. Over here. Typical first dungeon stuff. Keys! Everybody loves keys. I'm not going to worry about you right now. Be careful when you cross these bridges because if you break the ropes, the bridge will fall into the lava. And you don't want to go into the lava quite yet. In fact, I can't think of a time when you would. So just don't do it. Unless you're looking for funny fail. This is a puzzle that took me quite a bit of time to figure out. But these jars of water, you can throw in the lava, and they will make little platforms for you. And... First big treasure is always, 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 always... The compass? No, the map. Why did you think I was going to say the compass? We know what the map does. We don't need to see all of this before. Look at Link's eyebrow. It's spazzing out. Don't spaz out, Link. It's only the first dungeon. Do I even need that platform? Probably not. Okay. Is that shoe going to come down here? Because if he doesn't, it's going to be very difficult to climb the platform. Come on up. Come on, buddy. There we go. Give me your delicious jelly. Or a heart, that's fine. The jelly is only one fifteenth of... Well, do the math, I think it comes out to about a half a heart anyway. So, I'd say we made significant progress there. Okay, dude. We need your weapon. So I'll just be taking that. I was standing right in front of you, dude. How did you miss me? You are a disgrace to whatever your race is. Pokoblins, maybe? So, we use his weapon... To break the door! And we can also use it to kill different enemies if we're not sucky. Why did I throw that? Come back here! Silly nilly. Break this open, another minor treasure. I think this is the first one that's not required unless it's a key, in which case it is. It is a key. I remember this game too well. It's been so long since I played it, and yet I remember it too well. Die! Die! You know what? Did I just do a jump attack from midair? This isn't Brawl, you know. You can't do that, Toon Link. So now we're on the second level here. I never got this. You actually throw a pot at these things. I would always try to swipe it with my sword for some reason. But throw a pot to activate the... Throw the pot at the flower! Or throw a rock. Fine, maybe the pots don't do it. Maybe it's the rock. Maybe rock on flower. Dude! Rock on flower. Dude! Come on! It's a flower. It's not moving. You can hit it. Thank you. So now we've opened up a bridge, and conveniently enough, it leads to that locked door that we passed earlier. But now we have a key for it! Neato! 
there's a path down here we're going to want to take because there's a treasure chart over there, but we can't do that yet because we don't have the required item. I didn't want to waste time on you guys, but if I have to, I will. Dude! Any more? Thank you. Now, these I don't believe we need... Yeah, we do need something to break it with. But these weak wooden things we don't. Dude, don't scare me like that, dude. I need your item, though. I need your weapon. Where is it? There it is. This is the first time we've run into these orbs, isn't it? I'm not sure if you get something different depending on what the color is. I think if you hit the red one, you get, like, an item or hearts or something. Or is the orange one items. I'm pretty sure the green is rupees. But this thing is not strong enough to break the wood here, so what we need to do is set it on fire. And then we can get through it, step on the switch that I didn't realize was there. And open up the door! And now we're heading outside? We're outside! Oh my goodness, we're outside! It's a dungeon and we're outside! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Die! Now we have a little lava plume up here that's going to knock us off if we're not fast enough, so climb a little bit quicker, Link. Thank you. And, oh no, it's one of those evil birdies! Evil birdie! And if he doesn't fall off the cliff, we can... Damn it! I... I so wanted that. No, Link, what are you... Speedrunning tactics! Okay, up here. What? No! I wanted you to sort of scoot along the ledge. Climb. Scoot. 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 There we go. I almost hit the A button to let go. That would have been hilarious. Sure, Link has a death wish. Why not? Well, but I'm glad I did not jump down prematurely. Like I mentioned before, I have terrible ba aim with bomb flowers. There we go. Why was that rock blocking the door? Who would do such a thing? Oh my god, block puzzle! I forget how to do this. I think if you just pull two of them out, you're safe. So let's climb up here, climb up here. Now we can get in the door. If we really wanted to, there are rats in here. We could buy stuff from them with our... Coral, I don't care about the rats. Can I just continue to go without talking to you? See what they, Do you see what they do here? You can't grab the block here unless you talk to Coral. And he's going to tell you, keep your wits about you. There are just rats, even though you saw them in the Forsaken Fortress. I feel the need to tell you about them now. And if you put bait near their nests, they will offer to sell you things at extremely inflated prices because they are rats that know a little bit too much about the economy and sell things for much more than they're actually worth. Compass? Compass? This better be the compass. It's the second important treasure chest of the dungeon. Look at that rat over there. We got the compass, and now we can see where all the treasures are hidden inside the dungeon. Cool! But before we go anywhere, we need to find a key. Which we can do by taking this lid stick over here, throwing it all the way across the way. Somehow it'll magically land on the other side. I tell you what, I'd never be able to throw that stick that far. Does it have wings? This had better be a small key. Because just think, if this was a joy pendant, we would never be able to get through the cavern, and Ganon would win. I think I just blew my own mind with that. 